So I'm pretty sure the whole world, everybody in between, if you're watching this, you guys seen uh, from outside the courthouse where Diddy was being indicted in New York. And of course, he's being charged with racketeering, ex trafficking, and I have to say edited because of the platform and um, transportation of prostitution. I have to say it like that so it don't catch the algorithm. So he's going through all of these different things. And Diddy, uh, you know, of course, he's one of the biggest moguls in the world from the 1990s. So he still has supporters. And one of those supporters decided to come and show up outside of the courthouse wearing a sweater that had Diddy's name across it. And he got into a heated argument with a man because he asked the crowd, he asked the people that was outside and news people, you know, just regular bystanders outside of the courthouse. How much do they think the shirt he was wearing with Diddy's name across it was worth? And then a guy came out and said this, let's watch the clip. You know, I want to hear your thoughts about this. If anybody, anybody can guess how much this is worth, how much this is worth? Nothing. <laughs> if he did it, nothing. It got worth. It ain't worth. Nope. Now if he did it, on it. Signed it, man. Yo, dog. Yo, dog. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Yo, dog. I'm sorry. Bro. That's right. He got his signature. Yo, dog. If oh. I guarantee you, if I you up right now with this Diddy on. That'd be good picture. Now you tell me how much he's gonna be worth then. Oh, he's gonna be worth millions. You ready? I'm from out of town, right? I'm, show, I'm, show I'm you from what, all over the world. Yo, dog, I'm going to show you what a real thug <laughs> I'm just shocked, you know, <laughs> that there's people willing to put their self on the line still just showing up outside of the courthouse because it's just a bad look. Like, if you have a job or something like that and you're, you're trying to show support for somebody um, who has these type of charges, I mean... I wonder if that'd be a conflict of interest and you could possibly lose your employment because they're saying that, oh, you're in alignment or you're supporting someone who does not align with our views and our morals and integrity. You know, I just be thinking about that. Like, I feel like it's okay to fan out, but you shouldn't get to the point where you about to lose your job because this person, I mean, if they're up there, if you like their music, cool, cool, cool. But when it gets this personal, where it's all these allegations, we got 1000 bottles of baby oil. We got guns. We got all types of stuff help going on victims, abuse, videotapes of abuse. You know, it's just like, no, you know, but anyways, watch this clip. Um, hopefully they'll share it. I want to hear your thoughts about this. Ain't this crazy, man. These people do not care anymore, baby. But make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. I'm going to read the 14-page um, indictment as well. I'm going to try to probably upload it either to my direct pod um, or I'm just going to go straight on my website. So just get a subscription to my website, djjericapod.com. And let's just get into this. Follow it because um, I'm reporting on everything. My, my website reports entertainment news in general, but I'm staying updated with everything going on the case. Diddy's been denied bail for a second time. They feel like he's a flight risk. He offered $50 million to try to get up out of there, but they're claiming that one of his bandmates who was mentioned in Don Richards, which was one of his um, artists' lawsuits, they were on the group Dirty Money, according to uh, reports and court documents. Allegedly, Diddy contacted this woman 54 times via call um, after news broke that this woman, Dawn, wrote up a lawsuit. And allegedly, he, it, it seems as if it was some type of intimidation going on. The judge felt that way. So he got denied his bail and his bond offering for that 50 million. His judge, I mean, attorney, tried to appeal it and they still denied it, said he was a flight risk. Even though he turned in his passports, his family members' passports, he turned in his, his uh, private jet. Everything else said that he will be checking in and only go between Miami and New York or wherever. They were like, no, we're not having it. But let's watch this video. I don't want to tear it too long. Watch this video clip and share your thoughts on this below. Oh, I'm going to really get into day two, but it's a lot going on. It's like so much stuff. I just want to laugh real quick. Let's laugh together. Let's watch this clip. Phil, what a real OG. Okay. I got bro. You an OG, bro. I got to show you respect, bro. No, you don't got to do Yo, your dog, in order to get respect, you got to disrespect. You understand? Yeah, I disrespect you. I won't give a my You out of town, cat, motherfucker. I'm in town.